particular issue. It's been alleged that we've ignored the facts. How can you ignore the facts when you don't get the facts? That's what this is all about. It's been alleged by the other side that we've already reached a conclusion. How can you reach a conclusion when you can't get the information you need to make a conclusion or make a decision? I mean, that's what this is all about. And look, I'm not one who has called for the Attorney General's resignation. I just want to get the information. We just want the documents that were requested eight months ago. That's all we're after. And now today, we get an executive privilege uh, asserted by the White House. Now, my understanding of executive privilege, this is, this is communication between senior staff and the President himself. And yet, we had the Attorney General sit in front of the Judiciary Committee when Congressman Chaffetz questioned him and asked him specifically if he had communicated to the President about this issue. He said he had not. So now, something's got to give here. Either what the, what the Attorney General said wasn't the case, or if it was the case, the President didn't. I mean, something's got to give. E either we now know that Fast and Furious wasn't just confined to the Department of Justice, but now goes to the White House, or if the Attorney General was telling us the truth when he answered Mr. Chaffetz's question, then we continue to get stonewalling and we don't get to those facts that we need to make a decision and reach a conclusion. That's what's going on here. So, Mr. Chairman, I appreciate what you're doing. I think we're right on target with this. We just want the information so we have the facts, so we can make a decision.